Preparing for biodiversity offsetting has got easier with the Land App's latest updates. Users of the Land App can now purchase a one-click baseline that serves a best guess of existing habitats within a site boundary in the language of the UK Habitat Classification. This data is created by combining Ordnance Survey's master map with other authoritative data sources such as from Natural England, Forestry Commission and Earth Observation data to best predict the existing habitats. This data is served directly to the user's Land App map whereby it can be edited and enhanced with easy drawing tools. Using the baseline habitat assessment, users can easily confirm and amend primary habitat codes, add secondary codes, and assign condition scores. Users can easily focus their attention on areas of habitat creation or enhancement by copying specific features from the baseline to a land management plan, a separate plan template, also underpinned by the UK Habitat classification, that allows for future scenarios to be designed. To help, the Land App's next generation land use suggestions can quickly provide ideas for where new habitats can be created to maximise financial and ecosystem service return. There is now a growing library of algorithms built with the Land App Partner Network which suggests where habitats such as wetlands, woodlands and pollinator rich areas and energy infrastructure such as solar panels and battery storage are best suited. These suggestions are served as separate vector layers bespoke to the area of interest and underpinned by geospatial business rules meaning that they are optimised to reflect existing policy and research. Users can pick and choose suggestions easily using the copy to plan function, bringing specific features to a land management plan. Here, they can be amended accordingly to ensure they best reflect the aspirations and outputs from the ground. Once the first draft is complete, publishing these two plans, Baseline Habitat Assessment and Land Management Plan, to the map of maps allows plans to be visualised spatially and for premium subscribers, able to see real-time impact through our metrics dashboards. This centralised dashboard allows users to quickly interrogate the portfolio, with summary statistics broken down by plan type running off live land app data. Filters can be applied to focus on specific clients, holdings or areas of interest. Filters can also be applied to target layers such as flood zones and bug life's beelines. The Biodiversity tab unpicks the complexity of Natural England's Biodiversity Metric 3.1 by clearly displaying the impact of the baseline habitat assessment and uplift generated through the Land Management Plan. The biodiversity calculation takes into account strategic significance, technical difficulty and the impact of time on creation. These reports can be easily exported to PDF via the download button. Other useful features include a countryside stewardship value calculator and a basic payment reduction calculator. We would like to thank all partners who have helped make this process possible, both through data provision, technical support and user testing and feedback. If you're interested in learning more or joining our waiting list for this new functionality, please contact us at support at thelandapp.com. Happy mapping!